All right, so we'll be looking at a book, a Bible. It's the four Gospels. It's uh, the Divine and Sacred Gospel. The four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. I'm not doing a full review. I'm just doing a quick overview of it, and I will be doing a full review, Lord willing, recording it tomorrow and possibly have it uploaded tomorrow. But if not, I have other things that I'm trying to get in place, but we'll just do a quick overview of this. Uh, it is a very large book. If you're familiar with the smaller gospel book, um, I forgot who this is by. Um, this is the one I like to read out of because it's more of a hand size. Um, let's see. If you're familiar with this, oh, well, this one's uh, sewn and glued for dirt for long for many years of use is the way they did this one. Print This one's printed in Canada by, where's that? Uh, St. Ignatius Orthodox Press, I believe. So this is the EOB. Now, the EOB is the Eastern Orthodox Translation of the New Testament. I believe they're working on the, in fact, I'm almost positive, and I think they're doing it through New Rome Press, which will, that's where this one, the big one, is from. Um, uh, they're, they're doing, I think, the Old Testament from the Septuagint with the, all the, the 81 books of the Bible, which would be nice, really nice. And I think this, they're calling it like the Tree of Life, Old Testament, or something like that. Uh, but it'll be the, the, I think it'll be the EOB Old Testament. Uh, but when that comes around, I'll let you guys know and update you on that. So it comes in this this beautiful slipcase. You can see the, the Bible itself, cloth bound and stamped very well, just very well done. And... Uh, but let's see if I can do this one-handed. And I want to make this quick. I don't want to keep you guys too long because full review, hopefully I'll be able to... Well, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to scratch that gilding. There we go. Wow, that was on there good. So that's the subcase. Very thick, as you can see. Set that over there. Um, see another way I, I'll get I'll show you like a micron panel. This is actually I like these better. These are Prismacolor, which I use in my Bibles. But you can see size comparison there. So if I put that right there. Very large. Probably the biggest Bible. I think it's wider. If you if you've ever seen the ESV pulpit Bible, it's gonna be wider and taller than that, I believe. Not as thick, of course, because you only have the four gospels. But let me uh, just make a quick run through this. Let me pull this table up a little bit. All right, so let's look at it. So it's got these beautiful end sheets. It's got a perfect hinge, so it lays flat no matter where it's at. But look how beautiful and detailed. The detail, the artwork, just, just amazing, just amazing. This is probably one of the finest Bibles I've ever have felt, uh, uh, have felt and had my hands on. And uh, it's just, just amazing. So let's go to the first page. Like I said, this ain't a full review. This is done by New Rome Press, which I'll be, re uh, in fact, I'm going to say it now so you guys know, I literally have every book so far that they have published. As uh, far as I know, there's a, I know there's a couple that were sold out. I take that back. Um, I do have most of what they have, and I'll be reviewing each book after I actually read it. So, or if I've went through it enough, I'll be reviewing everything that you see on the website except for some of the things that were sold out which i will eventually get that too but um let's just go through this real quick so you do have uh, like a, a a red highlight for in the black text this is on 120 gsm paper very heavy pe paperweight uh it is acid free if i have to correct down the review i will but i know they always use acid free paper so i'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it's acid free and if i remember reading this correctly it is now, this is done from the, the um, Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. This is their approval of the EOB signed. So you have the scanned, and I'm not sure if that's a real signature. I mean, it feels like it, too. I think that's an actual, I don't know if they sign each, I don't see them signing each one, so maybe that's, that's a print. But you can see the full color prints. Then you can see the approval by the Antiochian or Antiochian, however you want to say that, Orthodox Christian Archdiocese. Um, now, the EOB, while well, I'm just kind of going through it and showing it to you, is they do use the Texas Receptus, the TR text. 
okay? So that's what they're going to be using. Something a little bit different in this um, to other Bibles. Uh, of course, they do, I'm sure they look at uh, other majority, what quote-unquote majority text, but they call this, I think the, oh, goodness, what is it called? The, I want to say it's a patristic text, but there's actually a, another name for it. But if you like your new king, if you like your King James Bible or a TR Bible, uh, of course, that's the Eastern Orthodox Church gave you that New Testament. That's they gave you that Bible. So if you really appreciate uh, that line of manuscripts, you can thank the Eastern Orthodox Church for that. You can thank the Orthodox Church for that one. That's if you're a, a Protestant watching, that's why you have your King James New Testament is because of the Eastern Orthodox Church, which is uh, something, something interesting. I mean, you guys can do some study on that. See how be, it's beautifully done, especially this artwork and these prints. I'm just kind of going through it. Like I said, this is just a quick view and doing an overview on it. Or, I mean, I'm doing an overview on it and I'll be doing a review on it. Done very nice. You see some sketches too as well black and white sketches but that is let me show you just one time about that detail Let's see if i can get that to, yeah just amazing print guys amazing print this would be a blessing to anybody that decides to get one Let's see if that will focus there we go just amazing just amazing this is beautiful and it's a pleasure to read. The translation is great. Um, you can actually get the whole New Testament in a zipper format and an imitation leather. And it's actually a very nice imitation leather. And the paper is acid-free. Um, I've done a review on it. Just look back a couple videos. You'll see the EOB New Testament. Very, very nice. It's a good translation. Very, very good. Let me show you a couple more full color prints. Just, just amazing. And this is also laid out in a certain liturgical manner, of, from what I understand, but that will be in the full review. So, kind of just go through there. There's another full print. Uh, I believe there's some icons through here, but like I said, I'll do that in the full review. If I come across one and I'm flipping through, we'll look at one. I mean, you do have this, the sketched type of iconography there. Or illustrations. If I get something wrong, let me know. If you're Orthodox, you can help me out because my channel is going to be reviewing, of course, Bibles like always, but a lot more Orthodox stuff. And uh, for anybody that's Orthodox out there, if you need to correct me in any way, um, please do so because I will be doing videos interviewing some priests, some theologians, stuff like that. There will be those videos coming up. And also, I will be pretty much... I don't want to say it's teaching. It'll be kind of teach me teaching, but it will not be my own thoughts and notes. It'll be me pretty much saying what the Orthodox Church teaches according to their own material. In other words, I'll just be rehashing maybe a book that I read when I'm doing reviews, stuff like that. And like the, the elementary things, the, the foundation of Orthodox theology. And... And I'll try not to go into anything um, real in depth. I will eventually when I feel that the Lord has has me there. But there you got the end sheets. But like I said, if you're Orthodox and I say anything wrong or if I mispronounce something, please let me know. Please let me know. I, I'm going to take you guys along my journey from going from a King James only Protestant, even though they didn't think Baptists don't think they're Protestants, they're Protestant. I went from that. Now I'm, now I'm Orthodox. So. Um, I'm going to be going through that and that's why it would be kind of like me teaching but I don't want to hold myself up to that standard because I'm not qualified but I will regurgitate that is, that's not really a good word but rehash and in a teaching type style what I learn as I go so it would be like my journey you're, you're journeying with me as I'm learning more of orthodoxy um, right now, I'm, in fact, I'm reading this book and a few others. Um, God is a Man of War by Stephen D. Young, I believe it is. Um, this one's really good. Uh, Orthodoxy and Heterodoxy. Uh, really good book. But a uh, very, very nice volume. And I'm already nine minutes. See, I don't even want to go five minutes. But 
that's an overview of that. Let me show you the slip case one more time. And I hope that's a blessing to somebody. Be looking for the review. It'll be up sometime, hopefully. If I record it tomorrow, hopefully I'll have it up tomorrow. Uh, but if not, I know sometime this week, Lord willing, be praying for me that I can have that up, a full review. And I'll try to explain things the best I can because there's still a lot of things that I don't completely understand or don't know yet. So, But until next time, guys, like always, good day and God bless.